The Split. This is from um, Abby Morgan, who did um, The Hour and River, which starred Nicola Walker, as does this. She plays Hannah Stern, a um, divorce lawyer who, uh, until recently, just before the series began, worked at the family firm. Um, but she basically left when she found out like her mother, played by Deborah Finley, uh, wasn't going to uh, let her run the business basically she said she would retire we see in this first episode that it's uh that her mom is turning 70 so she thought she would retire and she didn't so she's gone to work for this big uh this sort of rival firm which is run by uh, one of the partners is sort of a former lover or would-be lover She's married to Stephen Mangan. You feel like it's going to be sort of a case of the week thing with other bits sort of tacked on throughout. So the 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 case in this week is that there's a stand-up comedian played by uh, Matt Bainton who's being um, represented by uh, Hannah's sister Nina. Uh, he's put a lot of material about his ex-wife played by Tanya Franks in his new tour and they're basically saying if you don't remove this material then you won't get rights to see your son. There's also the start of a, um, a case with a couple played by Stephen Tompkins and Amira Sial. He's like a millionaire or something, and he comes to see... Makes trainers. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Minutia. Um Hannah basically um, see, goes to see him as a potential client, and he tells Amira Sial, his wife, to go and find her own representation. But throughout the episode, he ends up going to Nina and the mother, and she ends up representing Miracial after she finds out that he's having an affair and that's why they're that's why he wants a divorce that's the basic premise of the first episode Gary go I absolutely loved this this is the show I have been waiting to watch for a long long time I think Abby Morgan writes scripts that you can believe people would say I know that Luke <laughs> Even has had that a particular... sentence wasn't very believable. <laughs> well, no, but I, it's... But she didn't I'm, write it. I've <laughs> heard Luke... Well, OK, whatever. Go Look, on. I've heard Luke say this, and I've agreed with him on a lot of occasions, that when you sometimes watch TV drama, you hear people say things you know no one in their life has ever said. Every word of that script, everything that comes out, particularly Nicola Walker's mouth, feels believable. I love the sister character... Um, Which I one? There was, was two sisters. Uh, well, yeah, but I, I, I love the, I love both the sister characters actually, really. But I like the sister who's the lawyer, Nina. Yeah. Um, overly flirtatious and broken <laughs> and alcoholic, like you. And I know Gary. that should be. I know yeah. that should be. It's like your spirit animal. Well, no, but it, it's like it's like all of a sudden I could actually believe that these things were happening. And yeah, okay, there is going to be a case of the week, and then the big running storyline is clearly going to be the. You know the the main divorce that we're going through, you know, with the, with the, with the um, other characters, and I, I'm one of those people that thinks that Stephen Mangum is actually quite a convincing actor. I don't mind that he's slightly comedic. I think that's fine. I really liked it. I'm going to carry on regardless. I really liked it, and I cannot wait to watch the next episode. In fact, I'm even tempted to watch the first episode again tonight when it airs on BBC One. I disagree with Gary on almost every point. I think Abby wow. Morgan. I think Abby Morgan writes very, very cold, upper class, almost unbearable people to spend any time with. I think Nicola Walker could turn up in any drama. If she had turned up in Lost in Space, I would have been completely won over because I think she has that ability to just draw you into whatever world she's happening to inhabit. I didn't think it was terrible. I think Gary's giving it a lot more praise than it deserves. I think it joins a long list of shows that 2018 is bringing us where I'm just going to go, yeah, that's all right, and I don't really have any cause. You hate television, more. don't you? The whole thing just felt really sterile, and, you know, it, it, you could it, you could compare it to The Good Wife because there's a lot of similarities. It's a family drama, it's a law drama, it's, it's all set in a sort of a lavish world. But where that was fast-paced and interesting... This just 
really left me cold and unengaged. And if I was to be kind, I'd say, yeah, it's all right. It's perfectly watchable. It's if okay. I be, if I was to be honest with myself, I'd just say I'm I'm one and done. And I've, well, that's I've... okay. That, to, to be honest, what you've said encompasses why it's so good to hear other people's opinions. Because not everybody's going to love everything. And once again, I'm man in the middle, I, I'm afraid. Um, I can see... No, I, I don't know. I can't see this Gary's points, really, because I didn't... I didn't feel like this was believable. Again, I felt anything Nicola Walker was in, That's I thought, I said, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, I liked the stuff with the stand-up comedian. I thought that was an interesting sort of case of the week. And I liked some of the other performances. I thought Deborah Finley was very good as the mother Ruth. I thought that was quite a good thing. One of the things I said to Luke when we discussed it last week was, why can't they just be in a happy marriage, Stephen Mangan and Nicola Walker? Why does every couple in these things have to be fragmented well, hidden but, secrets and, yeah, yeah we don't need she's it. texting her new colleague at, like stupid o'clock in the morning you yeah. know that they're going to have an affair at some point and i would have loved to have seen a series where it where she's not in a complicated relationship she's dealing with all these other couples breaking up but she has a solid marriage i'm and not I, i'm not 100 percent sure that they will i think they'll get as far as but would you close, agree no well, yeah. no, I, I think it's like about, I'm like about 75% like they will. <laughs> and then there's oh that bit of hope God. that I'm thinking, yeah, maybe they'll, maybe they'll just have a, a kiss and that's it. My point is that I don't think that that should be there at all. I don't think the series particularly needs mm. that. It would be great if you just had a, a couple who sort of actually were in love and had a stable relationship. I don't agree with you on Stephen Mangan. I, I, I find him quite distracting. Okay. I would say he sort of takes you out of it a little bit. He's not someone who can blend into the background when needs be in a drama. If the potential storyline is that she has an affair with the, the Swedish guy, then he becomes almost like the de facto good guy in the series, you know, the wronged husband. Mm. And and then he's, you know, but, there, there's going to be... But I, I, I don't know. I just feel like there might be a different way in which they go. Abby Morgan no, has a history you, of writing don't stuff. Don't you foresee a situation where they have an affair, Stephen Mangan wants a divorce and hires the sister to... You well, possibly, write but it. I don't necessarily feel like this will follow the normal linear idea no. because the case of the I week and the case that they've got overarching the whole series is enough. They don't have to go to that storyline. Oh, they will. Can I just say as well that I will be watching a second episode because I, yeah. I will give it a chance. Uh, the split is on Tuesday nights at nine on BBC One. Um, you can also read an interview with Nicola Walker on the website now, thecustardtv.com. What, what did he describe it at now as Edinburgh? And I've said this, Piers Wenger said aspirational dramas. That's what they seem to be going for now. All these sort of, as you say, very middle class, with the exception of Come Home, which was... Yeah working class oh aspirational yes this sort of world that not a lot of us people can Living dream of having. having you know this sort of yeah. middle class two point i mean i know the, the, the thing is we've nice liked car, some of those nice in the job. past we like we liked the one with david tennant being the politician and you like uh, that that was very middle class well i know but i think you guys liked it you watched all of it there's only three parts. Do you know, well, how, no, many, but, you know, you know how many years you're going back with that reference? That you're going sure, back but, you know, I'm just trying to think. I mean, I know there was there was also, there, there were various other ones that you could say. I mean, you could say Silk is extremely middle class. I think Silk is the, um, the best UK legal drama. I don't think we're very good at them. I don't think we do them very well. No, we're not as good as America, no. Yeah. I would agree, but I, I, I do think it, it has a place, but it is very different. 